In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the E6B flight computer to calculate ground speed. And it's really quite easy. Let's say we're flying along and we have two checkpoints marked on our map. What we'll do is we'll fly from the first checkpoint to the second checkpoint and we'll have a stopwatch and we'll keep a note of how much time it took for us to get between those two checkpoints. Typically, on a VFR flight, we want to have those checkpoints be between 10 and 15 nautical miles. In this particular example, let's assume, because we have good landmarks, that we chose 13 nautical miles to be between our two points. We start our timer at the first checkpoint, and we stop it once we reach the second checkpoint. It took us 6.8 minutes to get there. The first thing we're going to do is look for 13 nautical miles on the outside stationary ring. We're basically doing the same problem that we did to calculate the distance. We're now doing it the opposite direction to calculate the speed. So we're going to work our way backwards. We're going to start with our distance, which is 13 nautical miles. We're going to rotate this inner scale, which represents time, until 6.8 minutes is lined up with 13, which it already is. 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, 6.8 is lined up with the 13. Now all we have to do is look to see where the index points. And we can see it points between 11 and 12, or 115 knots. What this tells us is that if we assumed 110 knots indicated airspeed, we've got a bit of a tailwind, which is having us increase our ground speed by about 5 knots. And this will let us get a better estimate of what the winds aloft are so we can plan accordingly for the other checkpoints that are coming up on our flight plan. And it's that easy.